Five gang members from New York are in police custody this morning. They're accused of killing a teenager. His family says it was a case of mistaken identity. Rena Roy reports from New York. A moment so many have been waiting for. In the midst of grief, word quickly spread that five people are in custody in the brutal stabbing death of 15-year-old Lissandro Guzman Feliz, known as Junior. Thank God they, they, they Thank got God him. They, they have to pay what they did with my son. My son was innocent. Oh my God, I'm so happy. We are so grateful they're caught, I swear. Around 5 o'clock Sunday, a CBS2 camera captured one person taken into custody in Patterson, New Jersey. In total, police say three were picked up there. Another was caught in the Bronx, and one turned himself in. Investigators tell us all of them are gang members. They were uh, arrested. Some dude had a shirt off. He wasn't running. They grabbed him and put the cuffs on him. Police have been searching for these suspects since Wednesday when they say the men dragged the teen out of a bodega on Bathgate Avenue and East 183rd Street, then stabbed him repeatedly. Cell phone video shows him running one block to St. Barnabas Hospital where he died. I won't gonna have my son never, ever, never. This is my little angel. Since his murder, justice for Junior has echoed through the streets of Belmont and made waves on social media with celebrities like Rihanna and Cardi B sending their condolences in what Guzman Feliz's family is calling a case of mistaken identity. Police say the teen was not involved in any gangs. I'm so confused and like I can't, like I can't. I can't cope with him. He was such a good friend. Like, he was always happy, always smiling. A relative who did not want to show his face on camera says a gang member sent an apology on Snapchat. They were just saying the message is that it wasn't for Junior. It was somebody else, but they confused him. And they said, sorry, they apologized, and they sent the condolences, but it wasn't for them. He's but then, though. but he's gone. That doesn't change anything. Now, Felice's family says he had big dreams for his future. He was in the NYPD Explorers program, hoping to join the force one day.